It's your boy, Big Kelf, repping that seven day genetics, and y'all know how I do it. I work out seven days. Seven days. Now, back to my segment, Fuck Out of Here, in which I talk about things that bug me. It's typically gym related, but occasionally I do go off that cuff and I talk about things that have absolutely nothing to do with the gym. I know it's a bit dark out here. Um, my job has changed, so now I'm going to be going to the gym a lot earlier and a lot a lot of times it's going to be this dark out here. Hopefully this lighting is good. I'll tweak it, try to make sure it's good enough to do these videos. But, you know, that's after I see this video. But anyways, what I wanna talk about today is in life doing what makes you happy. Thing is, you can do a number of things in life to make other people happy, but in the end, it's all about making you happy. You can go out and get a particular job and your family is like, oh, we're so proud of him. He's achieved so much and he's done so much. But in the end, if that job does not fulfill you, then it's pointless. In the end, you need to do what makes you happy. I got in the mindset of trying to push my nieces, my nephews, cousins, everybody into going to college and doing this and doing that. College is not for everyone. I mean, I think it's a great thing. I think, you know, if you do decide to go to college, that's a great thing. But if you don't, doesn't mean you're a piece of shit. You can be successful without going to college. So I'm not going to say that without college, you can't be successful because you can. But if you aren't really doing anything and you're kind of stuck in a, ru a, a, ru a, a, a rut, I'm sorry, my brain is a little flaky right now after that hard workout. But um, college could help you, it can. Or at least figuring out a trade for you or something that you really want to do. But it has to be something that you really want to do. I know a number of people who are very successful and not happy in their success because they're doing a job that does not make them happy. Unfortunately, I did the same thing for a while. Did a job that was not fulfilling. It paid well, but it was not fulfilling. And every day I felt like I was wasting my time. I didn't want to do that anymore. So I got to a point, I said, man, fuck that. I have to do the things I want to do to make me happy because at the end of my days, can I say I've done the things that I wanted to do or did I do something that someone else wanted to do? Part of being a man is figuring out what's important to you. And you know, if you're a man, you have to say what's important to me. And as a man, what are the things that I need to do? Or if you're a woman, same thing. It was interesting, I had a conversation with a woman I know a couple days ago, and she was trying to look down upon me for a decision I made, and I told her, plain and simple, I'm a man and that's a decision I chose to make. She was like, well, I'm disappointed. Fuck disappointment. That's what I chose to do as a man. I didn't ask the opinion of the peanut gallery. I told you what I did, because I'm a grown ass man, and that's how a man decides his fate. You don't go out asking people what would they do or how they feel about what you did. No, you can tell somebody what you did and if they don't like it, so? It's your life and you have to live it the best way you know how for you, not everyone else because you keep living your life for everyone else, you're not going to be happy. And the ring reason I bring this up is because I know too many people stuck in this rut they have a job that they can't stand and they keep working it for for so many different reasons, whether it be their kid, their wife, their family, just so people be happy. Man, fuck those people. I'm not saying fuck your kids, but stop making everything about everyone else. Find what makes you happy and do that thing. Or I'ma come find your ass, smack the shit out of you, tell you fuck out of here, make you happy. But anyways, it's your boy, Big Kel. You like what you heard? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. If you're not the type to subscribe, that's cool too. Just watch my damn videos and make sure you're signed in when you do. Also, if you have an idea for an upcoming video, post in the comments below. If I agree and it's something that bothers me like it bothers you, I'll make a video about it. But if it doesn't, then I won't. And I hope you don't get butt hurt because I probably won't give a shit. It's nothing personal. But anyways, it's your boy. Big Kelf.
And as usual, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.